Interesting things you didn't know five minutes ago. Did you know the oldest piece of chewing gum in the world was found in Sweden and is believed to be over 9,000 years old, made from the resin of a tree and sweetened with honey? Did you know that Saturn is so light that it would float on water? This is because of the relationship between an object's density and its weight. The lower an object's density, the lighter it will be. Saturn is one of the largest planets in the solar system but it is also one of the lightest. Saturn's density is lower than water, meaning that if it were placed in a pool of water, it would float. Its low density is due to its composition, consisting of an iron and rock core surrounded by an atmosphere of hydrogen and helium. Would you dare climb this? The Buddhist hand is located in one down province in China and it's actually quite safe. Would you believe me if I told you that a giraffe can clean its ears with its own tongue? A giraffe can clean its ears with its own tongue, which measures approximately 45 centimeters long. The giraffe's tongue is long, thick, and dark purple, allowing it to easily reach and clean its ears. Additionally, the giraffe's tongue is very rough, helping it to grab and swallow leaves and branches from tall trees. Have you ever seen what's behind soda dispensing machines? These boxes are filled with syrup of different flavors. When you press the button, a pump sends water and CO2 to the carburetor, filling it with gas. The carbonated water is then sent to the faucet along with the soda flavoring of your choice. Did you know that the first known joke was written in 1902 BC in Egypt? This joke was written by an Egyptian king and is found on a clay tablet called the Rind Papyrus. The joke is a simple one about everyday life in ancient Egyptian society and shows that jokes and humor have existed for over 4,000 years. It's interesting to note that some comedy themes, such as everyday life and irony, have lasted over time and remain relevant today. This is the evening dress that my Thailand used in the gala dress competition parade. If you pay attention, you'll see that it's made of hundreds of tabs from soda cans, in tribute to their garbage-collecting parents. Did you know where the word nerd comes from? The word nerd was coined by Dr. Seuss in his book, If I Ran the Zoo. The word originally described an imaginary character named nerd. In the 1950s, the word began to be used as a derogatory term to describe someone with intellectual or geek interests. However, in recent decades, the meaning of the word has changed and become more acceptable, with many people proudly adopting the term as a way to describe their love for technology, science, or gaming. This is MewTalk, an isonorized Bluetooth microphone that suppresses your voice. You can play late at night without waking up your family. It is capable of reducing up to 30 decibels. This is the first website. It was created in 1991 by Tim Berners-Lee, a British computer scientist. The address of the page was this one. This page was the beginning of the World Wide Web, a system of interconnected documents on the internet that is now an integral part of our lives. Get all representations of a black hole that you've seen in the past. According to NASA, this is one of the most accurate so far. This is Thumbelina, or Little Thumb, the smallest horse in the world, weighing 26 kilograms and measuring only 43 meters. Did you know that there are only two flags in the world that have the color purple? The bird feathers on the flag of Dominica are of this color, as is the last stripe of the rainbow on the flag of Nicaragua. Did you know that mustard helps to combat cramps? One of the hypotheses as to why they occur is due to a misrepresentation by nerves. Mustard and other foods with a strong flavor activate a group of nerve receptors inside your mouth that stimulate and distract your nervous system, deactivating the nerve impulses that form cramps. Although it doesn't seem like it, this is not a photo. It is an acrylic and oil painted titled Wet Hair by Johannes Westmark. 
That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.